text, Rainbow Dash? Did something come through the portal? Is Equestrian Magic on the loose? Did Twilight come back with a problem that only we can solve? The giant cake monster covered all the cakes in the world in cake? Um, not exactly. Uh, I don't understand. Well, Sunset, I was just telling Rainbow Dash here that a broken guitar string doesn't really qualify as an emergency. It totally does. Really, Rainbow Dash? I was in the middle of sewing a very complex applique on my latest frock. And I was just about to tuck everyone in for the night at the shelter. Now we'll have to start stories all over again. Why would you send all of us an emergency text for a guitar string? Well, I was going to pony up and show our fans some awesome guitar licks. But I kind of need all six strings to do it. Got any extra? Oh. <sighs> Here, but everyone finished practicing for the day. I'm pretty sure all the music rooms are locked. No problem. The acoustics in the hallway are perfect for power chords. Come on, let's go! You coming, Sunset? I'll catch up in a bit. Dear Princess Twilight, how's life treating you in Equestria? Any cool new magic spells? It's been pretty quiet here at CHS since the Battle of the Bands. We still pony up when we play music, which Rainbow Dash just loves to show off. But I still can't quite grasp what it's all about. I would love to hear what you think about it when you get us back. Your friend, Sunset Shimmer.
She was definitely doing something to the statue, or was going to. Do you think she came through the portal from Equestria? No, I'm pretty sure I would have noticed that. I think she was from over here. Well, that's a relief. The last thing we need is another magical so-and-so bent on world domination coming over from Equestria. Agreed. I have no interest in another fight against the powers of evil magic. The wear and tear on my wardrobe is just too much to keep up with. Still, a mysterious figure snooping around the portal? Don't you want to know what she was up to? <laughs> I don't even want to guess. Well, you don't have to, because I've totally figured out who it was. Ooh, ooh! A nighttime statue cleaner? A magical portal maintenance maintainer? A gardener? Seeing as how they got off a bus from the city and got back on a bus headed to the city, I'll bet they go to... Crystal Prep. Yep. With the friendship game starting tomorrow, they'd totally try to prank us by defacing the Wonder Gold statue. Why would anyone take a bus all the way from the city for that? Because the Crystal Prep Shadow Bolts are our biggest rivals. Because that's just what the students at Crystal Prep would do. Because even though they beat us in everything, soccer, tennis, golf, they still have to gloat. Seems kind of silly to me. Silly? So, I guess you think the friendship games are silly, too. Well, it's not like we'll be fighting the powers of evil magic. No, we'll be fighting against a school full of memes. Not everything has to be magical to be important. You're right. I'm sorry. I know it's a big deal. Oh, that's putting it mildly, darling. They're still revamping the playing field in preparation. I just don't understand why there's this big rivalry. Aren't the friendship games supposed to be about our two schools getting along? Well, it's kind of hard to get along with someone who beats you at everything. Not anymore! This time, things are gonna be different. What do you mean? Oh, you'll find out. As I am sure you all know, tomorrow Canterlot High School will be hosting our fellow students from Crystal Prep Academy as we join together in the spirit of excellence, sportsmanship, and fidelity to compete in the Friendship Games. Since the games only happen every four years, I'm sure you're all curious what goes on. You mean other than us losing? And that is exactly why I've asked Rainbow Dash to come up and give you all a little, um, context. Thank you, Principal Celestia. <clears throat> I know a lot of you might think there's no way we can beat a fancy school like Crystal Brett at anything. I hope this speech isn't meant to be motivational. Crystal Prep students are super athletic, super smart, and super motivated. But there's one thing they aren't. They aren't Wonder Bolts. We fought magic more than once and come out on top. Oh. There's other schools, but none can make those claims. Na, 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 na. Oh. Together we are Canterlot. Come and cheer our name. Oh. This will be our year to win these games. We'll always be Wonder Colts forever. And now our time has finally arrived. Cause we believe in the magic of friendship. And you know, at the end of the day, it is we who survive.
Rainbow Dash. That was amazing. Even I feel like we can win. I feel like my school pride is at an all-time high. Is anybody else wondering how Dash ponied up without playing her guitar? I know, right? It's probably because I'm so awesome. Maybe. I mean, you are awesome, but there's gotta be more to it than that, right? It just seems so random. Well, it would be nice if you girls could get a handle on it. We'd like to keep magic as far away from the friendship games as possible. We don't want to be accused of cheating. We don't need magic to defeat those hoity-toity crystal preppers. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Still, the friendship games are serious business. We don't want any surprises, especially the kind that could cause us to forfeit. Sunset Shimmer, you came here from a world of magic. Perhaps you can get to the bottom of our magical development. I'll do my best. Okay, anybody have any guesses what the events are gonna be? Pie eating? Cake eating? <gasps> Pie cake eating! They won't even let us see what they're doing to the field. You'd think they'd at least tell competitors what they're competing in. It could be anything. Anything? How will I ever pick the right outfit? I really want to help, but I think I better go focus on figuring out why Rainbow Dash ponied up. See you later. Seems like she's got everything under control. Nothing to worry about. Hey, Twilight. Haven't heard back from you yet. I guess you must be pretty busy with your role as princess. But I could really use your advice right now. You see, I've been given the job of keeping magic under control here at CHS, even though I still haven't quite wrapped my head around it. And now, after seeing Rainbow Dash pony up the way she did, it makes me think her magic might be changing. Everyone is looking to me to figure things out, and I really don't want to let them down. But I'm not sure I have enough experience with friendship magic to solve this. Field test confirmed it, Spike. With this device, I can track and contain the bizarre energy coming from Canterlot High. I know you didn't like me going over there, but I just couldn't wait. And soon, I'll have all the time I need. All of Crystal Prep is gonna be there for the friendship games. I just hope all that rivalry nonsense doesn't get in the way of my research. If I can collect enough data on these EM frequencies, I should be able to extrapolate the waveforms to determine their origin. That would practically guarantee my entrance into the Everton Independent Study Program. Whoa! Twilight, you know the rules against pets. Well, Spike isn't a pet, Dean Cadence. He's the focus of my research project. Human canine cohabitation, effects and implications. If you say so, but Principal Cinch is highly allergic, so I suggest you put on a clean shirt. Why? Because she wants to see you. Ooh, maybe she has news about my application to Everton. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Are you sure that's what you really want? Why wouldn't it be? A program that allows me to focus all my attention on my own advanced math and science projects? What a dream come true! But there aren't any classrooms with other students. You'll be doing everything on your own. That is why it's called an independent study program. I just don't want you to miss out on anything, that's all. Being around other people isn't a bad thing. Sometimes it's how you learn the most about yourself. I guess. Meet you in Principal Cinch's office in a few minutes? What's she so worried about? Everton is exactly what I need right now. <sighs> it's not like I have anything left to learn at Crystal Prep.
Shining armor? Why is my brother here? As an alumni, Principal Cinch thought he could provide some unique perspective. Perspective on what? Why, the friendship games, of course. You competed in the games, did you not, Shining Armor? <clears throat> I did. And do you happen to recall who won? <laughs> Crystal Prep did. We always win. We always win. Why did you ask to see me? Twilight. I'll be honest. It doesn't matter whether or not Crystal Prep wins or loses. The important thing is that we are expected to win because Crystal Prep has a reputation. And it is that reputation, my reputation, that is responsible for everything we have here, for everything you've done here. And you've done quite a lot, haven't you? I don't know. I guess. Oh, don't be modest. You're the best student this school has ever seen. What I can't understand is why my best student wouldn't want to compete. In the friendship games? Look, Twiley, I know it's not really your thing, but representing the school is kind of a big deal. Plus, they could really use your help. It seems Canterlot High is undergoing something of a renaissance. Test scores are up, grades, even athletics are on the rise. You see, they are developing somewhat of a reputation. This cannot happen. Principal Cinch, I can't possibly participate in the games. My work here is very- Ah, yes. Your work. Cadence, could you and Shining Armor find my contact sheet for the Everton Independent Study Program? Of course. I understand you've applied. You see, one of the advantages of having a reputation is a certain amount of influence in such things. So, let me offer you a deal. 
In return for contributing your agile mind to these games, I will use my influence to guarantee your application is approved. Though I suppose I could also have it denied. What do you think I should do? Games. The only difference now is that I have to compete. Besides, it's not like Principal Singe gave me much of a choice. I know, Spike. I don't like it either. I probably won't be able to collect anywhere near as much data as I thought. But maybe I can still get some. Spike, I wouldn't leave without you. Just remember to be quiet and try not to shed. Cadence, I'm not really sure where to go. One second, Twilight. You could try the end of the line. What did you say? Just that someone as smart as you should definitely go first. I... I didn't mean to. I was just asking. This is the right bus, Twilight. Go ahead. But I didn't mean to cut in front. <laughs> well, it's too late now. I don't know. Wrong answer! Try again! Are we gonna win? Um, I guess? It's just, I mean, I heard that CHS is doing well now, with their reputation. And, I mean, it's not better than ours, of course. But we can't let them do it, you know? Win, I mean, right? You're gonna have to take a seat! Sugarcoat? That was a really bad speech. You should consider not speaking in public. Well, Spike, at least I've got you with me. Games have a music competition because we would totally rock it. Um, we're supposed to keep magic out of the friendship games, remember? Easier said than done, darling. I'm sure in Equestria, magic does whatever you want, but this isn't Equestria. Well, when it comes to magic, I'm sure you'll figure it out. And while Sunset works on keeping the magic out of the games, I have been working on what to put in. <laughs> Rarity. What did you go and do? Well, I had a little time on my hands, and since we don't know what the Friendship Games events are, I made a few options for uniforms. You really didn't have to do that. I know. No, you really didn't have to. I know! <laughs> Vice Principal Luna can help your students get settled if you'd like me to show you around, Principal Cinch. There have been quite a few changes since your last visit. Oh, yes, Principal Celestia. I'm sure that would be fascinating. Oh, it's always such a pleasure to see you, Dean Cadence, even if it means another defeat. Thank you, Vice Principal Luna. But I hear it's not going to be so easy this time. Coming through! Seriously? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, sorry. Why don't you go ahead? You are such a sweetie! I am watching you. Ah, yeah! Oh. <laughs> you are kind of being a doormat right now. Twilight. Hey, Twilight! 
Hi, Twilight. Hi, Twilight. Hey, you. Looking good. Um, hi. Hey, what's happening? Really nice to see you. Twilight, how you doing? Twilight, yo. Hi. Hello. Uh, good. <coughs> Twilight? I almost didn't recognize you. When did you start wearing glasses? Um, like, since forever. Oh, so how long are you here for? Just for the friendship games. Right, of course. We'll totally win with you here. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, okay. Bye. Oh. Uh, Rarity, these outfits are great, but why would you put so much time and effort into clothes we might not even wear? You're gonna exhaust yourself before the games even start. Oh, <laughs> Don't be silly, darling. Putting effort into clothes is what I live for, and spending time on my friends fills me with energy! <laughs> and magic, too, I guess. Applejack, now that you mention it, I suppose I could use a tiny break. I told you. Twilight? Uh, yes? Well, I'll be. You should have told us you were coming. Darling, those glasses. <laughs> what are you wearing? It's so severe. My uniform? Your uniform for what? For crystal prep. But why does everyone at the school know who I am? Did you just say crystal prep? Ruff, ruff. Spike! <gasps> you know my dog's name, too? And our music program has especially taken off. Twilight? This is getting ridiculous. I must apologize for the curiosity of my prize student. Your student? The smart ones are always curious. I'll return her to check in with the rest of her classmates. I didn't know Twilight had a twin sister. She doesn't! That Twilight is obviously the Twilight from this world, since it couldn't possibly be the Twilight from the Pony World, since the Twilight from the Pony World doesn't go to Crystal Prepper with glasses! Never mind. I'm sorry, Principal Cinch. I was just following these strange readings. Actually, they led me to those girls and... Twilight! What you do in your free time is of little interest to me, but while you're here, I, all of Crystal Prep, in fact, require your complete focus. But why does everyone at the school seem to know me? Perhaps they're trying to confuse you. Perhaps they're trying to lure you away. It didn't feel like anyone was trying to lure me. I don't know what they're playing at, but I guarantee it isn't to help us win. I can't believe our world's Twilight goes to Crystal Prep! You're saying that Twilight's gonna play against us? She'd never do that. Our Twilight wouldn't. Our Twilight is a princess in Equestria and an expert in friendship magic. And if she was here, we'd have already figured out why magic is randomly popping up during pep rallies and costume changes. <sighs> oh, sorry. I'm just frustrated that I haven't heard back from her. She's a princess in Equestria. Probably got problems of her own to deal with. We certainly can't expect her to drop everything and pop through the portal whenever. Especially if it's to deal with something as minor as a few random pony-ups. But they aren't minor. Magic came into this world when I stole Twilight's crown. It's taken a lot for me to earn everyone's trust. If we have to forfeit the games because I can't think of a way to keep it under control... Oh, Sunset, I'm sure you'll be able to figure things out. You're the one who helped us understand what was going on with the sirens, remember? I guess. But Twilight was the one who really figured out what we needed to defeat them. But don't you remember, darling? What we needed to defeat them was you. <sighs> All right. Oh, All right. Come on, guys. Let's see if we can find any info about the events and come up with a strategy. You coming, Sunset? I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Oh, 
by. Maybe there's another way I could reach her. Hey, let's go! What did you do? Twilight, you have to check in with the others. Where's the portal? Where's the portal? What do you mean the portal's gone? I mean, it's gone. It's closed. It's not there anymore. How'd that happen? I don't know, but it has something to do with that twilight. What in tarnation is she up to? Huh? Leave this to me. Twilight, what have you been up to? Me? Oh, I was just in... Who wants to know? Um, we do? All right, everyone. Let's not get too competitive before the games even start. The games aren't really competitive since we've never lost. That's not a very nice thing to say. Sorry, dearie, but these games aren't about being nice. Well, we might use a little tact. Hi, I'm Pinkie Pie. Oh, hi, I'm Twilight. I know. You look just like my friend. Her name is Twilight, too. That's uh, weird. What's that? It's sort of a spectrometer. I built it to track EM frequencies, but it can also contain anomalies. It measures things. Like the party? Yeah, though it doesn't look like much of a party to me. I know. Something is definitely missing. Come on! Yeah! Hello, everyone. I'd like to take this opportunity to greet all of our visitors from Crystal Prep Academy and welcome them to CHS. <laughs> And lastly, I would like to recognize the 12 students that CHS has elected to compete. I don't think we could have chosen a better group to represent the excellence, sportsmanship, and friendship the games stand for. Principal Celestia for her unconventional welcome. It's been four years since the last Friendship Games, but it feels as though nothing has changed. Canterlot High continues to pick its competitors in a popularity contest, and Crystal Prep continues to field its top 12 students. It is a comfort to know that even after so many years of losses, your school remains committed to its ideals, however misguided they may be. I wish you all the best of luck, regardless of the inevitable outcome. Oh. I'm sorry, Pinky. I thought your party additions were really swell. They definitely broke the ice. Yes, if only that principal cinch hadn't frozen it again. Yeah, she's awful. Wow, Pinky, what happened to you? I don't know. 
Everyone started having fun after Twilight and I fired the party cannons and I ponied up. Of course you did. But then the magic just drained right out of me. Wait, what do you mean, drained out of you? Hey, where is that other Twilight? Oh, she's right... Uh, well, she was right here. Good morning, students. I'm sure you're all thrilled to start the first day of the Friendship Games. Our competitors will face off in every aspect of the CHS curriculum, culminating in the Elimination Equation Finale. Welcome to the first event, the Academic Decathlon. You'll be scored on chemistry, home ec, and everything in between. But remember, only the six students from each team with the most points will move on to event number two. Good luck! How we gonna take you down? How we gonna take you down? How we gonna take you down? Down, down, down. Oh, we're gonna take you out. Oh, we're gonna take you out. Oh, we're gonna take you out. Take you out. We're not about to let you win, so get out of our way. Think you got us beat, but we're here. ever been. After a careful tally of the points, we'd like to present the students moving on to the Friendship Games second event. Congratulations, you were really great. I'm sorry, excuse me. Okay then. Uh. Give her a treat? Guess I'm not the only one to smuggle her pet into school. <laughs> not just one. Oh, wow. All I have is Spike. It really is uncanny. Does he talk? Um, not that I know of. 
Congratulations on winning, by the way. Though, it didn't seem like anyone on your team was very excited about it. No one at my school gets excited about anything they didn't do themselves. That sounds awful. Here, hold this. Um, why? Holding a bunny always makes me feel better. Well, that's ridiculous. But, well, it actually kind of works. I'm on the other team and you just lost. Why are you being so nice to me? You look like you needed it. Chased that pointy rabbit through the glowy thing, and then it was somewhere else. Next thing I knew, I was back in that nice girl's arms, and I could talk. I don't really understand why I couldn't before. I mean, it's so easy. Twilight. Quick, hide in here. Who are you talking to? Um, myself. It's a nervous habit. Were you looking for me? Indeed I was. Quite a coincidence that the CHS students moving on to the next event are the same nice girls who were so interested in you, don't you think? I'm not sure. Perhaps you should get to know them after all. But I thought you didn't want me to. Let's just say I'm covering my bases. Who knows, perhaps they will reveal to you the secret to Canterlot High's newfound success. I don't know. Spying feels kind of wrong. Well, it's your decision, Twilight. It's not as if your application hangs in the balance. On second thought, yes, it does. Man, she's awful. What are you gonna do? <sighs> I don't know, Spike. I don't know. All I did was hand Twilight a bunny. Then I ponied up. I just don't get it. Rarity's magic came out when she made us outfits, Pinky's when she fixed the party, and now Fluttershy. And then Twilight's pendant thingy just pulled the magic right out of me. I couldn't even stand up. Like me at the party! Or me right before we met Twilight. So she's stealing magic? I don't know. She doesn't seem like the magic stealing type. Yeah, but she had something to do with closing the portal. If her pendant can pull in magic, maybe it stole the portal too. How? I don't know. And the pony or person or princess who could help me figure this out is completely unreachable now. Which is too bad, because Twilight knows everything about magic and portals and magical portals and portable magics! <laughs> For now, let's just focus on beating the Shadow Bolts. And as long as this event puts me in a playing field, I don't think we've got anything to worry about. Oh, it puts you on a playing field, all right. <laughs> Only one who thinks this is overkill? I don't suppose you made motocross outfits. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Of course I did! You will race in pairs. Indigo Zap and Sugar Coat will handle the motocross. Yes! Lemon Zest and Sunny Flare have requested the short track. Since archery is a standard requirement at our school, any of you should be able to do it. Twilight and Sour Sweet will start us off. Well, that's just marvelous! if you want to lose before we even start. Given that Twilight won the last event single-handedly, I have every confidence that she will be able to pull her weight here. Won't you? <laughs> to 
welcome to the Friendship Games Tri-Cross Relay. In this event, our qualifying competitors will face off in archery, speed skating, and finally, motocross. So, if the competitors are ready, each competitor must hit a bullseye before their teammates can start the next leg of the relay. You said it. If CPA can't hit another bullseye soon, they'll be out of this race. You're really bad at this. I can't take anymore. You have to stop aiming at the target. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Don't aim at the target. Thanks so much. You have to stop aiming at where the target is and aim at where the target's gonna be. Yeah, definitely take advice from the person you're competing against! Do you want to hit the bullseye or not? Then trust me, take a deep breath and let the arrow go right now. See, I was telling you the truth. What are you doing?
to happen. I just wanted to learn about the strange energy coming from your school. I didn't know that it was magic or how it works. That's okay. Neither do we. Oh, no! No, no, no! Not again! <laughs> I'm sorry. It just started absorbing energy on its own. But I'm not sure how. What do you mean you don't know how? causes these corresponding rifts to appear. I don't know how that works either. Is there anything you do know? Like how to get our magic back or how to fix the portal to Equestria? Equestria? You're supposed to be so smart, but did you ever think that you shouldn't be messing around with things you don't understand? But I want to understand. But you don't. And worst of all, you put the lives of my friends in danger. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Twilight! Wait! <clears throat> you can't possibly call that a fair race. Principal Cinch, we all saw what happened. You can't think CHS had some kind of advantage. Can't I? Even without your trained attack plans, your students have wings. Well, the race certainly had some extenuating circumstances. Perhaps we should end the games now and declare a tie. A tie? Was this your strategy all along? To force us into accepting you as equals? I think not. The games will continue and Crystal Prep will prevail despite your antics and whatever performance-enhancing regimen your students are on. I'm sorry I couldn't stop all this from happening. It's not your fault, Sunset. Isn't it? I should know how to control the magic I brought here. But I don't. I let everyone down. And now Principal Cinch thinks we're cheating. It doesn't matter what Principal Cinch thinks. But it does. The students here at CHS don't just want to win. They want to beat Crystal Prep. It isn't going to count if the other side doesn't really think they lost. Crystal Prep is never going to believe we won fair and square if there's magic around. And that magic is only around because of me. determine the winner of the Friendship Games. Somewhere on campus, a pennant from each school has been hidden. The first team to find their school's flag and bring it back wins. And as soon as our teams are ready, we'll begin. I don't feel like playing these games anymore. Well, we have to play. This is the last event. It's a little hard to focus with all the magic stealing and portal opening. And I feel awful about what I said to Twilight. Especially since she obviously didn't mean to do all the stuff she did. She's actually really nice. Let's just get through this last event and prove we're not a bunch of cheaters. Then you can go over and apologize. I know I'm asking you to beat a team that isn't playing fair, but Kentalot High must be made to understand that even with magic at their disposal, beating Crystal Prep is simply not an option. What if they grow wings again? A fair question, though I believe we can now fight fire with fire. I've seen what your device can do, Twilight. Containing magical energy is fine, but have you considered releasing it? But I don't even understand how it works. But you'd like to. 
And since our opponents have already used it to stay competitive, I see no reason why we shouldn't do the same. Unless, of course, you have no interest in Everton. Though, honestly, I think there's more knowledge packed in that little device than any independent study program could offer. I realize that you've always been an outcast. It's not everyone at school who likes to think. To find a student that's like you, I've had one or maybe two, but the good ones disappear before I blink. Oh, 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 oh. Now I understand you have your reservations. Oh, it's hard to have a brain as large as yours. Oh, but if we don't win these games, well, I think I've made it plain what will happen if we have the losing score. Oh, 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 oh. Unleash the magic. Unleash the magic. If we lose, then you're to blame. They all have used it, maybe abused it. So then why can't we do the same? Magic. If we lose, it will be tragic. More important is the knowledge we'll have lost. A chance like this won't come again. You'll regret not giving in. Isn't understanding magic worth the cost? Oh, 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 oh. Unleash the magic. Unleash the magic. If we lose, then you're to blame. But I'm suggesting is very simple And since it's win-win on all scores You only want to learn about the magic that you have stored And as for me and all the others We only want what we deserve That our school will clinch the win And my legacy will endure Why 
Twilight, you can't do this! Why not? There's a whole other world right there, and it's just filled with magic! But you're destroying this world to get it! So what? There's more magic there. And I want to understand it all! Take my hand, Twilight. Let me show you there's another way. Just like someone once did for me. by my own experiences, they'll forgive you. <laughs> Principal Celestia, on behalf of Crystal Prep, I demand that you forfeit the Friendship Games. Clearly, CHS has had unfair advantage for quite some time, and it's certainly obvious that your students have been using magic for their own benefit. I'd like to think that saving the world benefits us all. At least they didn't manipulate Twilight into releasing all the stolen magic and turning into a power-crazed magical creature that tried to rip the world apart just to win a game. Wow, that's a lot to take in when you say it all at once. That's ridiculous! Nope, that's pretty much what happened. Actually, we're all to blame. Mostly it was her. Obviously, my students have been infected with your magic, but I plan on taking all of this up with the school board! Good. I'm sure they would be very interested in hearing all about the magical students with wings. Oh, and the portals to different dimensions. And don't forget to tell them about the talking dog. <laughs> because that would never ruin your reputation. Well, 
I know these friendship games haven't been what any of us expected, but given what we've all just been through, I think it's fair to declare us all winners. I guess that was one way to finish up your time at Crystal Prep. Pretty sure Cinch will be fast-tracking your application after all of that. I've been thinking about it, and I'm not so sure now is the time for me to apply to Everton. Really? I may know about a lot of things, but friendship isn't really one of them. And I'm definitely not going to learn more about it by being alone all the time. So, you're staying at Crystal Prep? Well, it seems the students here at CHS know an awful lot about the subject. I don't suppose... You could transfer to this school instead. Really? You'd certainly be missed at Crystal Prep, but I think that's a great idea. I'll be sure to speak to Principal Celestia about it right away. Still no word from Princess Twilight? Not yet. But I think I may have figured out how magic works in this world. We pony up when we're showing the truest part of ourselves. I was so busy waiting for someone else to give me the answers that I gave up looking for them myself. I'm sure there will be more magical problems that pop up in this world. But like Applejack said, Princess Twilight has her own problems to worry about in Equestria. We can't expect her to always be around to help us. But maybe I can be? It seems we have a new Wonder Cult here at Canterlot High. I'm not sure how much help I could be. But I'd like to try, if you would all give me a chance. I'm sure I can count on you girls to help her feel at home. You sure can. Sooner. I didn't get your messages until just now because I was caught in this time travel loop, and honestly, it was the strangest thing that's ever happened to me! Make that the second strangest. 